Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. In this video, I'm going to bring this front axle down to bare metal and make most of the hardware that I'll need to mount it to the front spring.
Alright, so now I got this front axle there down to a beautiful 400 grit finish across pretty much the whole thing. Um, it looks super nice there. The reason why I'm going through so much trouble um, to make these parts nice and shiny like that is because I want to keep some type of um, possibly chrome or nickel plating as an option. So I'm putting in the time beforehand to make them really nice so I can um, keep my options open when it comes to that because I do think some type of chrome or nickel plating like that would be cool. So let me show you the parts I made here and explain how it's all going to eventually go together. So here I made these two um, bat wings, I guess they're called, and these will weld onto the axle just like this here. And inside the center hole right there um, are these pieces here, these little eyelets that will mount the spring. So these will press fit into that hole right there and they'll also be welded around the inside of that and then the bolt to hold the spring will go through here and then the eyelet on the spring itself is where that will hang off to. I don't have the actual shackles that, that connect it to um, but that's how it will all work. And I, model, I tried to model this after um, the original one I had, how it kind of tapers towards the ends and I think that turned out um, really nice there. And I also, as you can see here, that is drilled all the way through and tapped on the end to take this grease fitting right there. So that'll thread right in. And so this will be on the outside like that. And then the grease fitting will be on the outside there. And I think that'll look, that'll look pretty nice. So it's pretty simple here. It takes a lot of time though, um, especially when I'm polishing them like this. But I think these are going to work out very, very nicely. And then these two outer holes here on, the, on each of these points here, those, that's where the radius rod will attach to go back to the side of the frame. And I mentioned in the previous video that I was going to do a four bar setup where there's two parallel bars that come back to their own separate mounting points on the back, um, kind of like this picture here. Uh, but I've changed my mind. Uh, I'm going to do the more traditional thing, which is to do hairpin style radius rods, um, like, like you see in this picture right here. And that is far more traditional. Um, no early hot rods had um, four bar suspension on the front. Um, the reason though the four bar suspension is better is because as this axle moves up and down, like say you go over a bump just on one side and one side raises up, when that's just on a single pivot point over here, this front axle tilts up and it wants to twist it. And essentially what that does is it forces the front axle to be used as a sway bar. And that works with the I-beam axles like a lot of the early Fords had because those are able to twist a little bit. But these tube axles don't twist along the, the length there. So when you use that, um, those hairpin style radius rods or split wishbones, which a lot of people do, Essentially what you get in the front here is a sway bar that doesn't sway. So it does compromise some of the general um, riding of the thing, but it looks so much better. <laughs> that's, so that's, that's what I'm going to go with. Um, and, and the other thing that makes that will minimize the effects too is this whole thing is going to be relatively very light when it comes to cars. So the lighter something is, the, the less um, stress that actually puts on on all the components. So I think it should work out and I'm really excited to get to making the hairpins um, sometime soon. So that's all I have for you for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.